everyone welcome to programming knowledge so this is the seventh tutorial of our django series so like in the previous tutorial i showed you how you can work with the front end part of your application how you can use django template engine so this tutorial is going to uh, is going to be very interesting we are going to work with images on this tutorial so i will tell you how you can work with images within django so this is going to be an interesting tutorial so let's get started with this so before i proceed so this is the github link of our repository you can clone or download this repository you can have a look at the full source code and run this project on your machine i've defined below the instructions how to run the project on your local machine and that's going to be a very simple one so let's get started with the tutorial so first thing uh, i need to do you need to move to your settings.py file so i'll move to settings.py file and inside my settings.py file uh, what you need to do you need to define a static url which is going to be static and you need to define static file directory is equal to os.path.join base directory with the static folder so what here i'm actually mentioning that i have made a static folder and here it is and inside my static folder i have two images django.png and python.png so i would be using these two images and what i'm going to show you what you need to do uh, so this is the static folder which i'm referring which i also showed you into vs code i'm showing here for a better experience for so view for view for it and inside my static folder i have two images one is django and another is python so i'm referring to this particular static folder and to refer this particular static folder you need to move your move into your settings.py file and you need to define this heading sorry this piece of code okay uh, so first i'll create a route so i'll move to my urls.py file and i am going to define path my image page okay and i'm going to define a views dot my my image page and i'll give this a name is equal to my image page so this is going to be interesting okay now my image page i have defined my image page here okay and i'll define a function inside my views my image page, and i have given a name here it is on my image page also so what i'm going to do i'm going to define a view okay i'll define a view define my image page which takes request as a parameter good and it will return and render an html page request and that's name is going to be image page dot html so this is pretty fine okay the server has been reloaded okay so this looks pretty fine till now and inside my templates folder i'll create a new template i'll click here new file image page dot html okay this is fine now okay now to create an image page dot html what i'm going to do i'm going to take uh, any of the pages here okay and i'll copy this quickly okay now what do you need to do i'll define this as uh, okay sorry for this i'll define this as you can define any name image page okay so and what you need to do i'll open this uh, text file so this is the syntax how you can load an static image so what you need to define you need to define percent load static inside your bidet template so below this line i'll define percent load static percent load static and i'll refer to this image okay uh, i'll remove this okay from here what i'm going to tell you that this is a bootstrap and here what you need to do you will learn about images so here i'll type images so this is the responsive class of bootstrap we are going to use which will help us to make our image responsive so this is going to be very interesting 
so what you can do you can define div class is equal to container container fluid okay and what you going, I'm, what i'm going to do next uh, i'll define a row we, we, we will be learning bootstrap in the upcoming lectures as well so this uh, i'll give a short idea how you can create a responsive page so this is going to be interesting uh, div class is equal to row and inside a row i have a container then a row inside my container then inside my row i have a column div class is equal to call md6 okay now i'm going to quickly uh, copy this so how you can use this class so so this class image fluid response to refers to the uh, uh, responsive CSS which has been already written inside the bootstrap to make our image responsive on multiple devices and to define the image source I'll use a curly brace and percent sign then again a percent sign and inside my percent sign I'll space give space static and I'll define the image name using single quotes so let me define Django dot PNG so this this looks pretty fine here Django dot PNG and you can define you can give any name here okay so uh, I'll just uh, close the server then restart my server okay the server has started and uh, I have no issue here so I'll go to my local host yeah it's running and I'll give my image page okay so this is throwing an error which says the current path okay let me check my url oh i didn't save this okay yes now okay now it's working yeah here you can see so you can see the image has been successfully loaded so this looks pretty good you can also use uh in your in your html page what you can do you can also use python.png so this also works so this looks pretty fine and now what i'm going to show you django.png so i'll move to django.png and so i'll give you a brief interview so now you'll right click on this and click inspect and when you click on inspect uh, so this is a container fluid then this is a row inside there is a column of width medium 6 that on the multiple uh, on the medium devices it will have a width of 6 the bootstrap has a total width of 12 so we're going to learn that and this image source is this particular image so we can play with the inspector tools what we can do we can use background is equal to red let me uh, sorry for this okay like this is our row so i'll type background is equal to red now you can see a row which was also equivalent to the container fluid has a background red and what we can do this is a column we'll align this image in the center and type margin 0 auto okay so now you can see the image has been aligned to the center so let me check okay there might be some uh, uh, not exactly but might be some issue but we'll yeah, uh, rectify this in the upcoming lecture how we can resolve this so the, now the point is when I move to a different devices since I had used image fluid as a class I move to Galaxy S5 you can see the nav bar collapses itself and the image is being responsive I can move to iPhone X image being responsive so this this is going to be very helpful in the responsive device design the iPhone 5 and I close this and the best part is when I refresh this page it's all gone so because that was temporary to make this permanent you need to define the CSS in your HTML page and I'll define as margin 0 auto okay so when I go to this page refresh now this is permanent so this this is pretty cool so in the next tutorial I'm going to work with the images so that would that would really help you so guys thank you guys thank you so much so you can go to our repository have a look at the source code and uh, next tutorial we are also going to work with the images then we will also try 
in the next tutorial how we can work first i will let you know about the bootstrap how we can work with the bootstrap and using images then uh, we are going to use the if else logic how we can render multiple images on a single page using an if else logic so that's going to be very interesting guys i'll catch up in the next lecture thank you guys thank you so much